What do we do in Cardtrawler? Well, what we do in Cardtrawler is actually very simple. We try to increase your revenue while at the same time reducing your cost. The revenue one is, is pretty straightforward. We try and introduce new and innovative products like advancements in car, advancements in our ground transportation products, uh, on demand, which Bobby's going to be talking about later on. We try to merchandise them in smarter ways on your sites to increase conversion. And we try to use machine learning through algorithms to sort and price them in ways that maximize the amount of money you make from those bookings. But on the cost side, it's maybe not as clear. On the cost side, we're constantly trying to help you to reduce your costs by reducing the amount of resource you require to run your ancillary business. Cartroller was the first company to introduce dynamic widgets. That's widgets with live content, live pricing. That was back in 2006 when we started doing that. But 2009 through to 2016, um, you can see, even from a visual point of view, there's quite big differences between those widgets. However, smart block is a step change. Smart block is the next evolution in what we're trying to do here in a couple of ways. First of all, just in terms of functionality that we can provide on those widgets. But secondly, particularly around impact, us actually being able to take control of a piece of your impact and mer merchandise that in the smartest way on an ongoing basis, optimize that to ensure that we're getting the best value for you and the most choice for your customer. And how have we reached this point? Well, to be honest with you, um, this is really as a result of, of everything that you guys give us. It's about the data that we're now receiving. Compared to, say, five years ago, the amount of data we receive now is so rich. In the past, it may have been the number of passengers in a trip. Nowadays, we receive things like, what's the profile of those passengers? Are they business? Are they leisure? Is it a family? And that's really what Smart Block's about. It's being smarter about it. So what we see is the skyscanners of the world, the Rome Torrios, the Airbnbs, they're talking about experiences, they're talking about restaurants, they're talking about the car hire, they're talking about hotels, they're talking about all of these things as being purchases of that overall booking journey. You've got Google Trips collating all of that information from that email. The idea that you're going to New York, it's that one trip, is very real. And those booking patterns are changing. And what that means for us is that that less fragmentation in terms of booking patterns is that those patterns are actually changing. And what we're seeing is that instead of going from your flight to your hotel booking, that car purchase tends to be something that's top of mind. And if you actually think about that, you know, put purchasing a car at the time of flight, does that actually work? Is that something that people are considering? It's very real because, you know, when you get off realistically your flight in New York, you're going to go and pick up your car. You're not going straight to your hotel. And so that's actually more reflective of your actual journey. So an impact integration, obviously, is where we try and sell cars somewhere in the booking flow before a customer completes their flight. So lots of our partners down the years have done in-path integrations, and it's quite a lot of work. It involves scoping it out, doing the UI work, uh, doing the development work, adding into basket, and probably most importantly, the ongoing maintenance and optimization. Typically, in terms of timeframes, we've seen it take between four to six months for our partners to do that. We think that in terms of the heavy lifting, we should be doing a lot of that for you. And that's where SmartBlock comes in. What SmartBlock is, is where we will do the scoping. We do the UI work, obviously with input from the partner. We do the development work. We do the work in terms of ongoing maintenance and optimization. The only piece we ask the partner to do is the addition to basket. In terms of resource, how much is involved for that? But typically, we're seeing timeframes of about three weeks or so. 10% of people that interact with SmartBlock go on to book on the confirmation page. That's because we've shown them something different on the confirmation page that allowed them to confirm they are making the right decision. So a lot of us have talked about A-B testing and the importance of optimization and continual optimization and how it is that we think about our products. And really, this is about learning more. Because if you don't actually understand the changes that you're making to your product, or you don't understand you know, why something works versus why something doesn't work, and it's just blind, right? So it's blind success or it's blind failure. And it's really important that, in a, in a, you know, as I spoke about earlier, sort of changing booking patterns and changing ways in which people are actually interacting with their booking journeys and thinking about what it means to travel, that we actually understand that in a really fundamental way. So you do loads of testing on this product and really think about different flows, different ways of approaching the different features. And again, as I was early, er, referring to earlier, those core components of what it means to merchandise that car and make it real for a customer when they're purchasing that car. When we think about a mobile device, um, what's really exciting about it is that you know, it's, it's actually mobile, right? It's, it's what it means to travel. It goes with you. It's something that moves with you. And so there's such power in that little device. Um, you know, on a desktop machine, we know what country you're in. On a mobile device, we know which you know, street corner you're on. Um, and unlocking that power is really exciting.